to go. Yeah. Josh, we're looking ahead to our UEFA Youth League tie with Molda on Wednesday. How much are the lads looking forward to it? Oh, we're buzzing, honestly. Um, it's just it's came so quick as well. So it's like we were in Norway last week, well, a couple of weeks ago, but it's just like it was last week. Eh? Uh, we're really looking forward to it. Hopefully we get lots of fans there to uh, support the boys. Uh, we're raring to go. We're ready to go for it and try and, uh, try and get the win, especially Easter Road. It was such a big, uh, such a big game for us. You know, it'd be, it'd be brilliant to get a win for the fans as well. Mm -hmm. What have the last two weeks been like in between that game and and, and then now? And we had, had a, a game for the res reserve team as well. Uh, how have the preparations been going? So we've had uh, we've had preparations, especially in training. We've been doing a lot of shape. We've been doing a been a lot of training to get ready for this. We've had a couple of games where we've, we've worked on um, what we're going to do in the game and. Uh, Hopefully, what we're working on comes off, and uh, hopefully, come back, come back with a win. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the first leg was one 0 defeat in Norway. How much did you learn from that game? Lots. Uh, we learned what what's like over there, what the culture's like over there, how how they play, what type of player they've got, who's a, who's their best players, their weak spot, uh, their positives, you know. Mm -hmm. And we've got a lot of, lot more analysis on the, on them as well, which um, they probably have some of us as well. But uh, we've we've got top class analysis here that can help us uh, all, everywhere we go. Mm -hmm. um, Help us as much as we can, yeah. Mm -hmm. What do we need to do then to make sure we make sure we get, we get a positive result on Wednesday? I honestly think see, see if we go, put our heads down, work hard, uh, our, talent, our talent will shine through and as long as we stick, uh, put 100% in the game, well, we should, we should come, come out with a victory, yeah. Mm -hmm. We mentioned, you mentioned earlier, the, the fans it's at Easter Road, expecting a couple of thousand there, how much will they make a difference? Well, if, if, if young boys, yeah, they, they thrive on that sort of stuff. They thrive on attention, you know. Mm -hmm. it's kind of, if, if there's lots of people there, we'll love it. You know, it'll give us that 12th man. Just try, try and get behind us as much as possible. And hopefully, if we need that little extra boost, the fans will there to be there to help us. And that, that's all the little helps, all the little things help the most, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's something about this group of players. You've obviously played with them a while. The 2004, is it, that, that's called you, and you've grown up uh -huh. together. How much does that kind of team chemistry help you both on and off the pitch? Yeah, so much. Well, I've been together with the boys for about eight, nine years. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, it's been honestly crazy. Um, like we've, we've always went up, went up together, always winning. Um, it helps so much because they don't really have to do that much team bonding because we've mm -hmm. been together for that much. When new players come in, they just fit right in because we're, we're that much of a good group. And obviously it shows on the pitch as well that we've got that, we've got that bond where we can just go and play and there's no, there's no negatives in it at all. Mm -hmm. Appreciate your time, Josh. Good yeah. luck tomorrow. Thank you. Cheers.